sell a fight, I want to sell a lifestyle. Well, that prompted Manny Pacquiao to tweet the following to Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather's testimony to the Commission on All Access Authenticity tells me everything I need to know about his desire to fight me. What is Manny saying? It sounds like Manny Pacquiao might be doing a little trash talking on the Twitter. Oh, it definitely sounds like Stephen that. A., uh, up for you, my friend. Well, it's probably uh, facilitated by Aram and his crew because they see the opportunity to make big money. Um, and they see a level of vulnerability in Floyd Mayweather. Um, they saw him get cracked uh, by, by Madonna and at the end of the third round. Uh, they're seeing some slippage in their eyes and they want an opportunity to try and pounce on it, you know, because they recognize that although he is the best pound for pound fighter on the planet Earth right now, Manny Pacquiao recognizes that, you know what, in order for me to make this money, I'm going to have to get Floyd because the money that I have the potential to make after getting knocked into a coma for a few minutes mm -hmm. uh, by, by um, Juan Manuel Marquez, mm -hmm. the best way for me to go about making that money is to get Floyd into the ring. And if Ricky Hatton can talk smack to Floyd Mayweather to the point where Floyd looked at Leonard Ellaby at ringside a few years back and said, make the damn fight, maybe Manny Pacquiao can coax Floyd into doing the same thing, even if it is the same result that Ricky Hatton suffered at the hands of Floyd Mayweather at that time. Now for the truth uh -oh. about this tweet. Is that what this is? Yes, about? The, the, the truth. <laughs> okay. The truth is oh. that, <laughs> that this makes well, me laugh. The truth. He didn't yeah. tweet that himself. That's the truth. <laughs> Manny Pacquiao is saying what I have been saying, that Floyd has gone from great fighter to pure entertainer. This is all Hollywood. He even admits to the Nevada Commission, oh, we staged that in all access. Hmm, not sure about that, but I, I think you're seeing the real Floyd. And even you, Stephen A. Smith, are starting to wonder about Floyd. Is he really that focused on being a great fighter anymore? And for all these reasons, as he slides more and more into entertainer, Manny's saying, you're running farther and faster than ever from me. The, the tweet was, all I need to know about his desire to fight me. Floyd wants no part of this fight. I know a lot of people are speculating it's going to happen this year, maybe this coming spring. I will believe it when I see it because I don't think I will see it because I think Floyd is afraid of Manny Pacquiao. I've been saying that for how long? For three years long on, the on the show? show yeah. yeah, so you've been on for Two. seven years. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <Two>. <laughs> So, Stephen A., yes. it's just becoming clearer and clearer to me and certainly to Manny and company, if you want to throw Aram in there, mm. that Floyd, as he does often in the ring, is running and running faster and faster, farther and farther from this fight because he knows he would not only lose this fight and lose his unblemished record, but he would lose some of his unblemished face because he would get tagged in this fight he would get cut in this fight. He might even, God forbid, get hurt in this fight. Let me tell you, son, Skip Bayless. Mm -mm. Nobody, you know, a whole bunch of people have not been telling you about Floyd Mayweather possibly fighting Manny Pacquiao this spring. It's been one man, and that is me. It's I am predicting. Speculated. I'm the one that told okay. you I'm predicting. Yeah. You, that you Floyd have. Mayweather, that Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao will fight by April or May of next year. That is what I have said. I am on the record. I believe it's going to happen, and it is that simple. And Floyd Mayweather, after the fight against Madonna, basically said he could come get it. We can make the fight. Let's, 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 let's do it. And I believe him. And I think that when you look at Oscar De La Hoya and Bob Arum sort of rekindling, you know, a relationship that, that they once had and it was severed and now it seems to be coming back together, People are in the business of, of, of doing good business. And I think that Floyd, the excuse about business and all of this other stuff is going by the wayside now because everybody is sort of getting caught up in, all right, let's go make this money. Let's make these fights. And Floyd is being called out by a lot of folks because, again, it didn't help him. Floyd and I got into an argument about this. Like, why are you fighting Madonna? For what? 
Nobody cares. You have nothing to go, you have nothing to gain. Even if you win, so what? You win the rematch. Who cares? Okay? And the bottom line is, is that whether it's Canelo Alvarez, who's now went from Showtime back to HBO, by the way, which is a big deal. You've got uh, uh, Miguel Cotto, who looks much, much better since uh, 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 Freddie Roach has been training him. And you've got Manny Pacquiao. Those are the three fights when people think about Floyd. Those are the three fights that people care about. Not necessarily in that order. That is the bottom line. And Floyd has got to be, I mean, listen, I, I've been on the record. Been about the money. I ain't knocking him for that. Boxers need all the money they can get. They have no help. I applaud that. But he's money Mayweather for a reason. He's made plenty of money, okay? Now it's about that fight. I think that Pacquiao and Floyd will go down before the NBA Finals in June. Obviously, I think Floyd is going to win. I'm even willing to say Floyd might knock him out. Yes, I am. I'm trying to tell you right now. Why are you but giggling? the fight has to take place first, and I think that it will. I think that it will. Are you sure, Mr. Smith, you're not being misled by those close to Floyd that this fight is going to happen? No, because Floyd has told me himself that it's a fight that he's willing to take, and it's a fight that he wants. And I'm just taking Floyd at his word. He says that he wants to do it as much as he can't stand Aram and as much as he can't stand the promoters thinking that they could take all the money, etc. I think that Floyd is growing tired of all of this chitter chatter of, about Manny Pacquiao. So. And now that <laughs> Manny Pacquiao is willing to give it, even though Floyd, even though Floyd sees it as a ploy for Manny to get paid because Manny obviously has his money issues in the end. I think Floyd's getting tired of it, and I think Floyd's going to sit there and say, make the damn fight to, to Al Heyman and Leonard Ellaby again, and this is what's going to go down. It's just what I suspect. I'm not buying it, but I would love to see it. That's all you got to see. Yeah. All right. Many and by the way, could go I add ahead. one thing before we go to break? Yes. Matt Schaub made two Oh, God, Pro come Bowls. on. He made two Get Pro out of here. <laughs> in 2009 and 2012, he made the so Pro Bowl. So what? And in you 2012. Really? Nobody in denied 2012, that. Crazy. He, he crazy. Oh, forget forget wait, him wait. in his 4,700 yards <laughs> and no. 29 touchdowns. Who no. cares? Well, He's he Matt Schaub. Okay. He's he Matt Schaub. Okay. I need some oh, Zen. And can't yeah. play.